Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So the kids are actually asleep, which is why I decided to go ahead and start this. Um, I've been talking about it for a little bit and I had this idea to do a two looks, one palette kind of video, kind of series here on my channel going through all of my everyday palettes because I'm going to be going through my annual declutter soon and I want to make sure that I'm getting rid of what I'm not inspired to use anymore and what I can't get any more looks out of as opposed to just getting rid of bad products. I just want to get rid of multiple things and I want to make sure, know that what I'm getting rid of is what I want to get rid of because I bring so much into my collection. I mean, I'm about to do a $200 Natasha Denona order just ordering palettes. So honestly, it's time to do this. So we are going to be focusing on the palette that started this whole craze of having an everyday eyeshadow palette collection for my filming channel. And that is the Hard Candy and Marilyn Monroe palettes. So I talk a lot about this whenever I'm talking about my eyeshadows. It's not one of my high ranking palettes, but it is one that actually started this craze. You have a cool tone side here and a warm tone side here, a blush and a highlight, which I've talked about before. I don't use the blush and highlight. I use it as eyeshadow. I just think that the highlight is too chunky and the blush is too light for me. So anyways, we are going to go ahead and get into it. And the idea behind this is to kind of, I have no idea what I'm going into. I think I'm going to do a cool tone look and a warm tone look. So I'm going to actually use my LA Colors Eye Primer in the matte finish. Um, this is actually a really good primer if you like um, it to be, like your eyes to be completely like coated, like blinked out might be a very brightening color because it's very brightening on me but it is a great eyeshadow primer and I actually find that I like this more not set so I'm not going to set it on either side today alright so I am going to be using my BH Cosmetics I think these are the rose gold eye um, palette or uh, rose gold brushes that I got in a couple months ago I just picked out the eyes and let's go ahead and take a look at this palette so I think I have an idea of what I want to do for a cool tone look so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start diving into the cool tones I'm going to take my BH number six brush and this is iconic this is a matte purple shade I actually do not have a shade like this in my whole collection so I actually like it when I have a shade and a palette that I'm like that's unique I don't have that in my collection except in this palette and that's kind of hard to do with somebody who has as much makeup as I do it's gonna be awesome having two looks on I'm gonna try and film this whole series today so that's why I came on with my face makeup because I've already actually filmed today and did my makeup on camera and I just took my eye makeup off which is probably why my under eyes look horrible right now because I did remove my eye makeup but what I'm gonna do is more than likely just end up taking off all of my face makeup but this is just about the eyeshadow so I'm okay with that okay I'm trying to think of what I want to do I think I'm gonna just do a look using these three colors so I'm actually gonna take this shade here which is called leading lady I have talked about this before in other videos I think that this is a very sheer formula for a shimmer but it's nice that is something hard candy I really think has stepped up the quality of their products in the past few years because they actually had a horrible horrible formula for their products like literally I never would try stuff from hard candy year, like six years ago because everything was like really shit quality but now I really think that this is a good palette. I'm just taking a little bit more in my crease. I really think that this is a good palette. It's just this is a more sheer shimmer. And if you are wanting something that's going to have a little bit more of a boom like Anastasia or Natasha Denona, then I definitely recommend sticking to those prices because you're not going to get it with Hard Candy's formula. You're not going to get it with this palette. I'm going to take the matte black in here, which is called Caviar, on that same crease brush because I actually like how the crease is looking. And I'm just going to put 
that right there in the outer corner. I do think that I need a little bit of a highlight, so I'm going to take white dress right here from the warm tone side and put it on my brow bone and the inner corner. Okay, actually, I think I went off camera to test out some makeup. On this side, I think you can see I put something in the inner corner and I'm not liking it, so I just wanted to test it out and see if I want to declutter it. And it's getting decluttered, I'm done with it. Forget that, it's not good enough for me. So now let's start working on the warm tone side. No, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up this side. So I'm just gonna take this BH number 10 brush and take Iconic on the lower lash line and then take caviar, same brush, put it on the outer corner. So something unique about this is I had no idea the kind of look I was going to go in for. I kind of figured I was going to do something like this for one eye, but I have nothing, no idea what I'm going to do for the other eye. So I have no eyeliners, mascaras, or anything picked out. So I just literally have my makeup kit right there for my filming kit and I dove into the eyeliner drawer and picked out some stuff. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay and Prince So Dark. And my waterline. And I'm going to take my NYX liquid liner and this look is very dramatic. It calls for a wing. And the mascara I picked for this side is going to be the Anastasia Lash Brag Mascara. I like using this mascara whenever I'm doing a dramatic look. Even though it's not my favorite mascara, it is a nice mascara I tend to gravitate towards. Alright, so I finished off one look using this palette. I think I actually did a pretty good job. So now let's go into the other side and I think I'm gonna try to stick to just this side which is the more warm tone side. So obviously there is only these two mattes which is what kind of makes this palette pretty hard to use unless you dip into like the blush as a matte that's matte as a crease color. Um, I actually think I'm gonna do that. So the blush is called box office and I'm taking it on my BH number five brush it's just another crease brush and I'm gonna start blending that into the crease it's a very light shade and there's not a lot of pigment on this shade honestly which is why I stopped using it as a blush so I don't think it's gonna show up another thing about this series is I kind of want to inspire people to kind of shop your stash use what you have because I definitely don't do that and I need to do that more often so when you have a palette like this and you don't want to dive into these two mattes right here you can always take a shimmer see this is a sh this shade is a shimmer but it's not as shimmery as the other one and it's called girl's best friend and you can can use it in the crease I have seen people say you can't use shimmers in the crease before but you totally can this shade's just gonna take a lot of building up to use in the crease I mean I'm really digging in there All right, I'll be back whenever I have the crease the way I want. Okay, I think that because this is a shimmer, it's catching the light because I can see it catching the light in my mirror and I've built it up about as best as I can and it's not really getting any darker, so yeah. I'm gonna have to go into another palette, which was okay. I'm okay with that because I'm just gonna dive into my chocolates palette. I use this every day, so that's what I'm gonna do. 
Okay, so the crease actually looks really dark in person. I think it is the lights, but I do use this every day, so I felt like it was okay. But I want to go ahead and tell you guys, all I did was use Blitz right here in the crease just to kind of see if I could get it to show up a little bit more on camera. It didn't work. Um, I did the best I could with what I have to work with. So I'm going to take the shade Leading Lady. No, this is Pen Up right here on my finger like the, I did the other one because shimmers are going to show up better whenever you use your finger. This again is I feel like a more sheer formula. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more on that number five brush. Yeah, not liking this look. I'm just gonna take my number seven brush and take white dress and put that on the brow bone. In the inner corner, and let's just go ahead and finish this up by taking those two shades on the lash line. All right, I will be back when I have decided what eyeliner and mascara to use. So I don't think that this is a dramatic look, so I'm not going to do a wing, but I have picked out ColourPop's Creme Gel Liner in the shade Nocturnal because I thought brown would look good because I was going for a brown look. You really have to be careful with those Creme Gel Liners. It actually broke off into my eye a little bit, so yeah. And I'm going to take the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara in brown because I'm sticking to that theme of brown for this eye. I got way more fallout on this side because I was using shimmer in the crease than I did on the other eye. Just want to let you guys know that yes, there is more fallout here than there is on this. There's no fallout on this eye, there's fallout on that eye. Because fallout is a big thing for people. Okay, so these are the completed eye looks that I did using this palette. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I kind of want to do a one and one, which I do prefer using this palette. I personally think I'm going to prefer this one. I think that this one looks a lot better. You can't really tell with this eye because of the fact that I have so much light on and that shimmer is just like, it's the lights are reflecting off that mica, which is why you can't really see the crease. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.